In this interactive video the functionalities of the user profiles and the model import is explained. The user profile. Typically, while starting HyperMesh, you will be asked to select the user profile. What is the user profile for? In simple words, the user profile determines the finite element solver you are going to use. Likewise, the user profile specifies the finite element language being used for modeling. Once you have specified the user profile, the HyperMesh graphical user interface gets adjusted accordingly. For example, the internal structure of panels may change, or panels may even be removed entirely. As you can see, the list of supported solver interfaces is rather long. Note, that if wanted to, you can create your own user profile in order to link your own or other finite element solvers to the HyperWork suite. The user profile can be accessed at any time by clicking on the highlighted icon. Make sure to remember that changing the user profile during your session, does not automatically convert your finite element model from one solver format to another. However, this can be accomplished by a dedicated convert panel. But, this would exceed the intention of this bit. Let us select the finite element solver Optistruct, as Optistruct is part of your installation. In the help menu you will find further information about the different user profiles, including tutorials regarding the use of HyperMesh with, for instance, ANSYS, Abacus, Mark, and other solvers. In the next step, let us have a look at some general file operations such as importing an Optistruct model. Please note, and remember the icons shown in here. As you may have noticed, the icons are used in other places, such as in the toolbar, as well. In general, the icons are helpful shortcuts, making your workflow quicker. In the course of the starter kit videos, you will learn, that there are always multiple ways to get a task done. This gives you a great deal of flexibility, which is greatly appreciated by advanced users. A remark about the various import options. The import option, model, expects an HyperMesh binary file. This is our native file format. You always should save your work in this format, as it contains literally everything, even geometry or trial meshes. Once the model setup is completed and you are ready to start the analysis, you need to export the finite element deck. Geometry is about CAD data import, and eventually, Solver Deck refers to an ASCII finite element deck. Just have a look at the highlighted icons. Without getting lost in details, note the green arrow which refers to import. The symbol beneath the arrow provides additional information about the type of data to be imported. Here the symbol is obviously a finite element mesh. Another important point to note. The file type is set to Optistruct, because Optistruct was specified in the user profile. In order to select the file from your directory, click on the browser symbol next to file. Select the only file that is available, namely bracket mesh only .fem. Take note. Clicking on import multiple times will import the selected model multiple times. Close the import dialog window. As an alternative to the previously explained import steps via the file manager, we are now making use of the corresponding icon located in the toolbar. Currently, the icon says, Import Solver Deck. This setting can be changed by clicking on the toggle next to the import symbol. Once again, you need to specify the type of data to be imported. In our case, Solver Deck, I guess, by now you know what to expect. The next steps should be pretty straightforward. 
click on close in order to close the dialog window. This brings us to the end of this a short video.